what I usually do, kind of, I'm, you know, I feel a bit like a baker when I'm making, you know, kind of a medium. So I'm going to put a little bit of the uh, linseed oil in this cup. And then because it's winter, I'm going to add just a touch of liquid into it. So this doesn't take a million years to dry, you know. Um, so I'm just going to put just a little bit. So I put three, three ounces of um, and then I'll put about, let's see on the palette here. I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, liquid in it. It doesn't take much to help that, you know, speed it up dry. And so, I'm going to toss that in there. Just a little bit in there. Okay. Take these paints off here. And down here. Okay. Then I'm going to get, I usually like a, a hog bristle brush because um, it's just got some durable bristles on it. And I'm going to you know, stir around the liquid in there a little bit more. So it's just with pure, straight linseed oil. So I'm going to oil up the painting. What this will do is allow me to have some, um, you know, It'll bring back some of the darks here. The one thing I did before as well is I kind of dusted off the painting. I don't want any of the dust from earlier, you know, just from sitting around the studio. I want to make sure and get that out of there. So just going to start working this in the painting. And this will help get it that kind of that fresh contrast that as if the painting were wet. And this helps me make it feel like it is kind of wet and wet. So you're not just painting on a dry surface. Now, if I were doing some fine, final touches, uh, like some stumbling over the top, then I would not oil up. If I just had to add a little texture to the painting, then I, I would... I would just paint with dry paint and I would just drag it lightly over the surface. Now this will tack up a little bit by the time we're done. And so I will be able to do a little bit of stumbling anyway. But right at the beginning is kind of my opportunity to paint wet and wet. So I grabbed these uh, shop towels, you know, the blue towels, they're much more durable. And I like to use these instead of just a regular white towel because this will, um, uh, this won't put as, like lint on the on the surface of the panel here. And so what I'm doing is just trying to get a really nice, really thin, even coat. I don't want this dripping with oil. I just want a really thin coat of it is all. So yeah, just really nice and thin. That just brings back these nice darks that I had initially. Okay. So now that feels kind of nice and wet there. Any questions so far? Just kind of getting this set up. Uh, one thing, so say I was wanting to go back into this painting and it wasn't a year, you know, since I painted it. It was uh, a week or so ago and some of this stuff was a little bit tacky still. You really have to make sure that everything is completely dry before. Otherwise, um, you'll lose some of the qualities that you have in that initial layer. And that's something that I, I definitely don't want to do. And there's some areas that are really beautifully done. Uh, and so I just want to make sure and keep those. I don't want to destroy any of that. Uh, again, I want to enhance what I've already done, not uh, try and repaint the entire thing, unless unless it needed it, you know. Um, but I don't think this particular piece 
uh, is kind of at that level where it needs that. Um, okay. So we've got this, and I may dip into this mixture if I need to thin the paint. Uh, but for the most part, I'll be just using uh, some straight paint. Okay. Palette knife out here. I also have some of these scrapers, which I may or may not use. I also have this for a straight edge. My palette knife, I'm going to add a little bit of this liquid in plasto in case I need it. What this does is it's much slower. It will kind of, you can make a mark and it will just stay right there. It's not going to drip at all. It, it's um, it just keeps a nice texture to it, and so I'm going to probably use that in some areas where I want to enhance and build up the texture a bit. Now, first of all, let's. This is the opportunity when you just when you boiled up is to uh, start to do some glazing. Now it's hard once I add opaque paint in here that it, you, I can't glaze anymore. And so your time to kind of glaze something is right there at the beginning. So I'm going to dip into a little bit of that linseed oil. Um, and what I'm going to do is enhance a little bit, just subtly, add a little bit more of the orange around. And what that will do is we'll make this Flow just a bit more, a bit stronger. Probably a little tough to see it in the camera, but what it what it's doing is just expanding that area of light. And then I mentioned that I'm interested over here in adding a light. So you'll probably see a little bit more of a dramatic effect as I add some of this orange over here. What size is this again? Uh, this is a 30 by 30 inch uh, panel. Uh, I'm using, I painted this on a um, Turkel gesso panel. So you probably can notice that this kind of warm this area up a little bit. So. And what that's going to do is influence the color of these colors. So I'm going to warm that up a little bit. It's going to influence the color of the sidewalk here. This light hits that area. So adding a little bit of the orange to it. And then it will also influence colors in the water. So I'm adding just a little bit of that in here as well. I'd like to know uh, where everybody's from. So if everybody could let me know, then when I make analogies and things like that, I can talk about maybe things that are relating to where you're living. Is anybody out of the country or is everybody uh, here in the U.S.? Okay, I'll repeat the rules. Let's see. American Fork, Utah, Maui, Denver, Colorado, Kansas City. Um, is someone from Iowa, Australia? Oh, Australia. Awesome. Colorado Springs, Hawaii, Illinois, Berkeley, California, Logan, Utah, Canada, Texas, San Francisco, Texas. Cool. All right. Oregon, Florida. Awesome. Okay, we're all over there. We're all over the place. That's Wisconsin, awesome. I think. Okay. Awesome. Oh, wow. Awesome. Okay. Well, that's great. We're all over the place. So that's fantastic. Spokane, um, North Dakota. We've got quite a bit of people all over the place. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that's fantastic. All right. All, all English speaking countries though. 
Okay, let's see here. What I'm doing is also adding a little bit of orange there because what I want to have is, and it's very subtle, but that's important to have the influence of the light emanating outside of the, uh, you know, from these, these, pla these places. And it doesn't have to be like knock your socks off orange or anything like that, but just if you warm, I warm it up just a little bit, it's gonna, it's gonna help. Help convey that sense of, of light. So even on, you know, the flowers here, I'm just warming it up a little bit. And that will give a, just a little bit of a sense of uh, warmth of the light. There we go. 